Nothing here to see, just a kid like me Try to cut some teeth, try to figure it out Nothing better to do when I'm stuck on you I'm still on here trying to figure it out G'day, g'day, g'day guys. Um, welcome, thank you for being here. I am very, very excited for the first Tuesdays with Tiffany. And in that vein, g'day Tiffany. G'day. Hello. How are you? Doing very well. How is everyone? Good, good I hope. Um, are, you, yeah, are, you guys all, are you guys all good? Um, and so who, who do we have here? We've got Dr. Cassandra, Clan with a Knife, Amy A. Ramirez, Carrot Gaming. Tiffany Rose, um, your twin. Uh, Chef Boyar, <laughs> Bitch Zachary Stanford. Um, Asbury Brad, Bend Over. <laughs> Medium Syllables. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Spencer Silvera, Dan's Jeans, Genetics. Nicholas Hewitt, uh, Page Master, Winnie's Boyfriend slash Husband. Uh, nice stream before um, with you and uh, Good and You. I, I really feel like Good and You Lifestyle Guru carried you through there. So wouldn't be surprised if she's not in here because her back is probably sore. Uh, Mandy S. Uh, Konzantin. Rachel D. Tracy Hamill. Uh, Chris Bromelo. Um, Five Toed Sloth. Witchert. Jeff W. Dragon Words. Dan Jones. Gorilla Spawn, Dean Fulford, uh, Soda Coda, uh, Clobbering Time, get a clobber, oh, Sheffrey. <laughs> Play nice, you two. Uh, is this is this what we're gonna do? We're gonna let just anybody in here. We, we are, yeah, yep. That's okay. that's it. That that's the rules for Tuesdays with Tiffany. Just everyone All right. can come. All right. <laughs> Moton G, the doctor, therapist, the sweater for Dan. Jesus Christ. They are long names, guys. Good and new lifestyle guru. Great, great job before. Dean Fulford, Chachabate Billy, Lawn's Empty Beer Can. Um, Dan Dan, he's my man. 
Uh, socially distorted cam. <sighs> Wood skull. J potato man. Medium syllables. Heel born. G'day, heel born. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> the dark it's not knot. as good as Wells, but you know. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. It's pretty <laughs> yeah. good. Uh, weird versions. Uh, Nate Diaz fan. Uh, the Time Machine, Link Lavelle, Cornville Counselor, Mercer Matcha, uh, Sad Face 09, Alice Marie Armstrong, uh, Pizza Driver, uh, Kingpin, um, The Legendary Owl. Um, yeah, I think I got everyone there. And if not, apologies and shout at me like usual. So, um, yeah, so you've been having a good week i've i've been having a good week like there's all the streams this week have been awesome i think just been like enjoying hanging out in streams how about yourself yeah well same um mm -hmm. it's been extremely busy um cyber squeak did an amazing stream last night yes. if you guys haven't caught up with cyber squeak you have to because she led us to another lol cow yes who is so off the charts I had no idea what I walked into when I went into her stream, but it's CLC. It's this woman, Crystal, down in Kentucky. And let me tell you, the women who come on Facebook Live, it's all on Facebook, and they just call each other, you cunt, and you meth head, and you what was it? Pillhead Pill bitch. Pillhead yeah, bitch. I mean, it is, it is unbelievable. So... Head over to her channel and, and check out the stream that she did last night. It was so much fun. So we have found us another rabbit hole. We so have going to be it's going to be a good one. We have found us another rabbit hole, and it it was great. I was much like you. I kind of went in there and like, what have I just walked into? And I yeah. I, I loved it. Like I love so I love Cyber Squeak streams, and I hope we see more of that. And I don't want to do this because it does really pay. Um, play into clobbers how long until tiffany says something stupid i vote three minutes Jeez. but it's cmc mm -hmm. not clc oh really yeah. <laughs> is it it is it's it's cmc yeah oh damn it c, c mac i'm gonna i'm gonna oh, call right, you're, right, you're right you're right you're right you're right but that that's God all. Damn it. That's all good. It's it's a new lolcal to you. Like you know, it takes time. It takes I think time. I might be the lolcal. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for next Tuesdays with Tiffany. Where Exa Tiffany yeah, is exactly. <laughs> We're just gonna highlight everything stupid that I say. There's a lot. There's no, like no, don't be like that. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, I I I loved it, and yeah, like. Pillhead bitch is my new favorite insult. I just want to call it's everyone great. that. It's great. And they say it all the time. And they just smoke cigarette after cigarette, just like our, our, boy, our boy Lorne. Exactly. They, and um, she is um, very Lornish. Um, there's a lot. Of, yes. So, um, yeah, so check check CMC out. And um, I think Clover's going to do a uh, – not Clover, sorry. Um, Cyber Squeak is going to do a few more on that. So that would be sweet. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so yep, so this is gonna be every well, nearly every Tuesday now. So this will be a lot of fun, I think. And yeah, what we are doing is we are fixing um, Cornbill's fuck ups by going back and playing the actual original post breakup call, not not the one that was you know five hours down the track that I <laughs> I grabbed last week. So <laughs> so yes, yeah, so that's that's it. So um, why don't we crack into it? Yeah. All right. All right, before we go on, so um, thank you to Winnie's boyfriend slash husband for the um, stream heart and also the template. So I, I like it a lot. Yeah, look at all the pink. It's a I lot of pink. It. It's, it's a yes, lot of pink. You know, I'm on, re <laughs> I'm on record. It's my favorite color. So, um, I mean, I, I know you didn't, you didn't want it. You're just like, that's pretty girly. But I'm like, hey, you know, it's my, <laughs> it's my channel. Yeah. So, so it's going to no be No judging. Useful. No, that's good. Thank you for that. All right, let's do it. <laughs> So oh, I should also mention, so this is from Chronicles Chronicles of Cod's channel, so thank you for that. Um, singing the same old song I know every crack in these dirty sidewalks of Broadway Where hustle's the name of the game And nice guys get washed away Hello. Lauren? 
<laughs> She's gonna sit in silence. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> it's the smartest Lauren's ever sounded. It is. Keep it up, Lauren. I'm sure he's going to ruin it <laughs> Ruin it in about five seconds. Yeah. yeah. Lauren? Lauren, I called That's... to see how you're doing. Are you there? That's probably his TV, right? It would have to be. Um, yeah. so it's just sitting in silence with the TV blaring. Although it's not as loud as the other week, so that is appreciated. Yeah. And, uh, g'day, Joey and, uh, Leah Greer, so I saw you come in there. Hello? I'm here. How are you? We're good. That's good. He doesn't sound very happy. He doesn't, does he? And um, you're right. G'day, Kelly Sloan Bucket Witch Lady. And you're right. He's just, he's just shy. He's like, <laughs> Debbie, <laughs> shy. I'm shy. <laughs> I'm concerned about you. How are you doing? Well, you don't need to be concerned about me. I'm concerned that you're recording me. I'm not recording you, Lauren, I promise. And I called you. Oh, I called you. This There's a reason I called you at three, because I figured it's the only time that you would think that I wasn't live streaming, because everybody's asleep, so I would think that you wouldn't be live Or I would think that you would know that I wouldn't be live streaming. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> if you're concerned about being recorded, why are you on the phone right now? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I was just going to say, don't worry about Lauren, he'll be just fine. But why, like, that's, if you you know you've been recorded, why are you even on the phone? Yeah. <laughs> just don't answer. That's it. Hello? I'm glad you're doing well. And, like, and this is another thing about where he just seems, like, acts like he has no control over anything. Like, like you say, just don't answer. But it's like, well, someone's calling me, they might be recording me, I've got to answer and yeah. talk. What else can yeah. I do? Why are you worried about me? You weren't worried about me for nine months. Did that, did that to me because, because I like because I want to fight eight year olds, you said. <laughs> Remember? Well, Lauren, forget it forget forget what I said when I was angry. I've been thinking about you. Angry, well okay. How could you possibly be angry at me for finding out that you've been lying to me for nine months? I think the anger was more around, you know, the constant abuse and just the fact that you're a complete piece of shit rather than having to reveal that, you know, you've been catfishing him. Right. Lauren, I do like talking to you. Don't get me wrong, I do like talking to you. Yeah, I mean, you like talking to Emma or whatever the fuck her name is. Well, I talk to you more than I talk to her. Yeah, but you started the whole thing with her. No, I started... Actually, you know what? I was talking to you for months and months and months and months before I ever told her I was talking to you. You didn't tell me whatever made you get together with that stupid bitch. I didn't come there. Oh, I'd like to know because I never thought anybody on earth would do something so, something so ignorant as that. Especially after they knew, already knew how I felt about her. What made you do that? Well, her name is Lauren, so. Her name is what? Her name is Lauren. So. Who? Uh, Emma. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck do you think she's talking about, Lauren? I know. We've just, you, you've just <laughs> been talking about Emma for the last two minutes, or Lauren now. Who? Who? What? Try, try, to, try to stay on track in this conversation, Ramona. <laughs> Her name is Lauren. 
Not Lauren. 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 That's what I said. Lauren. Yeah. Lauren Rodriguez. <laughs> of course. <laughs> right. I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you that, but. Her name is supposed to be Lauren. That's. Say again? That's too bad her name is so close to mine. The same as mine. She's gonna. Oh. She's gonna have to change it then. Like, didn't didn't when it went from Casey to Wendy. Like, Wendy had to be changed to Winnie because he didn't like it because of Tony's wife. Yeah. Like right. that. Did I make that up or that was actually legit? No, that that's true. <laughs> everyone he just said. Like, he didn't like that. <laughs> everyone just said change their name because Lorne doesn't like it. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, g'day, Lorne Identity and Snail Slugman and 180 Degrees and Chris Bromelo. I didn't even notice that. Dark Atheist. You know, when you see it written, like, as, you know, when you see the, when you, see, when you think of the word Lorne and you think of the word Lorne, the way that they're spelled, they, they look so different. You know what I mean? No. No. Not at all. No, he doesn't, he doesn't know what you mean. <laughs> he has no idea. The way he says, mm, yeah, like that, he just, he really doesn't. His, nah. The wheels in his head are turning very, very slowly. Yep. And he, he is just like, but I don't care about enough this to say, huh? So <laughs> let's just move on. <laughs> right. Well, no, I mean, I, I do, like, like I said, I did enjoy talking to you, and I, and I do enjoy talking to you. I don't want you to be... I don't want you to be mad or anything like that. And all the advice that I gave you was was true and was from the heart. I mean, things that you actually could use. For to... nine months, Tracy. Did he say Tracy? Yeah. But so at this point, he thinks her actual name is Tracy. Yes. Even though that's why he's it's a, saying that. it's apparently Elizabeth, but that comes down the track, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think he believes that he got that name mm-hmm. on the DL. You know. Oh, like, okay. He wasn't supposed to know, just like he's not supposed to know that Emma's name is really Lauren. Oh, okay. So he's just like kind of dropping. The same thing. The, he's just like dropping it in there, like she'd be like, "What? How did you get that <laughs> name? You genius!" Right. Right. <laughs> I'd like for you to explain that to me. I wanted to be your friend, and I and I still do. Hey, but you explain that to me. I wanted to be my friend, but you told me your name is Ramona, from some girl named Ramona Quimby. An eight-year-old character in a, in a book. That's my charge. Explain that to me. But he just pretty much explained it to himself. Like she used the name of a kid because he's a noted pedophile. Like there's no nothing deeper. Well, I'll tell you my real name so that you can call me by my real name. Because I have a, I have two phones, one that I use for like play and one that I use for work. And well, anyway, I'll tell you my real my real name in a minute. But um, in a minute, what's make a difference? You told me in a minute or now. Say again. Why well, does it make a difference if you tell me in a minute or now? In a minute or now? What do you mean? Why does it well, make a difference? I was, was going to answer your question. I was going to answer your question. Um, wait, what was your question? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, my question was, uh, why are you complaining with me all, all nine months? Well, listen to me, okay? I want you to, I want you to understand something, because this is stuff that I was trying to tell you, and I'm still trying to tell you. You know, like for me, when I called you, I called you 
with 100% intention of being nice to you and being, you know, being your friend. And I think you deserve answers. <laughs> and I think you deserve the truth. And I've tried to tell you this before. You cannot expect people or women that you meet on the Internet are going to fall in love with you. And so, you know, you can't expect that. That's not how it works. And, you know, I truly hope that you find that you find someone, you know, who's not on the Internet. You could have friends who are on the Internet. And, I mean, and it does happen where people meet on the Internet and they end up together. Believe me, the way you did to me, I will never look on the internet again. <laughs> oh, Lauren. <laughs> all, all right, guys. So it's um, it's all over. So he's never gonna look it's on the internet over. again. He's learned his lesson. Yep. He's never gonna believe anybody again from the internet. No. So. Mark his words. We're that, done. That's it. So this is the last ever lawn call, guys. Hope you hope you enjoy it. There's definitely no other catfish after this one. No. There's not years of phone calls that come after this at all. No. No, he's done. Well, that, that honestly makes me feel like something good came out of this. Because seriously, you know, you, you deserve somebody, but I don't want you to feel like, you know. And honestly, honestly. What? I literally had my heart, all my belief in you. I went to expense. I went to expense to make uh, get other people to help uh, believe in you too. But don't do that. And I hope that they're telling you. What are they telling you now? I'm not doing that. I'm not, I will never do that again. What are they doing? The time would be the last time that I was ever gonna do that. <laughs> But it still doesn't explain how you went nine months. Me calling, calling you Ramona, a character in, an eight-year-old character in a book. Well, it's a name I like, but, um, like I said, I mean, I did enjoy talking to you. And the advice that I gave you is still stuff that you can take. See, what Ramona doesn't <laughs> understand is that he didn't hear any of that. No. No. So any advice that she would have given him, like, hey, why don't you go out and meet real people? Mm. How about if you stop drinking and being abusive? He didn't hear any of that. Not a hundred percent, and and like you know, as your first point there about why don't you go out and meet? So he's claiming like you know they were she was so into him for all this time. Well, usually people that are into you don't suggest you go out and date other people. Like if that's a right. relationship, <laughs> it's not a good relationship. No. <laughs> What's your real name? I'll tell you. Oh, oh. sorry about that. Knock my Bluetooth out of my ear. So how are you? He must be stoked that she's wearing a Bluetooth. Yeah, she got a headset too. Yeah, wow. Yeah. He loves that shit. That's closeness. He does. What are you doing then? I'm doing good. <laughs> oh. Of course you are. Lauren, I don't think you are. That's the thing. <laughs> he so confidently says it too. Oh, fly. Yeah. He did a glow up after their breakup. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, Lauren glowed up. That's good. What's, you know, like, is anything good and new happen? How, did you get the job? I don't know yet. I'm going looking for another job. That's good. They're taking too long, so I'm going to look for another job. But you can answer my questions. I think that was the Nestle one. Is this the Nestle one? I believe so. Yeah. And did he get this one? No. Nah. Perfect. 
No, he didn't. Just like, I, I think that Lorne walks in, he fills out an application just like every, in his shorts, right? He's going to yep. in his shorts and his tank top and his hat yep. with a Bluetooth stuck to his ear <laughs> at all times. Probably um, talking to a catfish while he's doing it. Probably, yeah. I mean, why not? They're there all the time anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he, he walks in and they say, yeah, sure, fill out an application because they're not going to just turn somebody away, mm. you know, to do that. So he's going to do that. And then he's possibly going to get an interview. Mm. But then I'm sure that they have so many applicants. We'll get back to you. Absolutely. You know, type of type of a story. So imagine sitting in your office and you're trying to fill a job and this fucker walks in, the guy that's on your screen right now, smiling at you. He reeks of cigarettes and maybe the beer from last night. <laughs> you know, he's, he's like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> you, you must like me a lot to give me a job application. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's one of those situations where, remember when he said to Kayla, I went out to look for a job, so I got a job? Yes, yep. <laughs> it's like that too yeah and that's imagine being the receptionist in that where he walks in and we're like oh ha, ha, good and you and all this kind of stuff <laughs> yeah working hard or hardly working he'd be like holy right, fuck right all that corny shit he's laughing at everything he says <laughs> yeah and he just little, laughs at it yep he just like take the application well, and he'd be the kind of guy where you know like you get the letter like the declined letter from an interview back saying you know there's a a large amount of quality applicants and that he'd be like, well, I was really close. There was, I only missed yeah. out because there was so many quality well, applicants. Well, he thought that he, he got the job because they sent him a hat and, <laughs> well, it actually, it wasn't even them that, that sent it. It was Ember. Oh, okay. So she sent him a hat and she sent him a on, hat like on behalf of, Nestle. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. Nestle. She found it on eBay. It was used. Yep. And I believe she said that it had hair in it. <laughs> And she sent it to him, and he was so excited, thinking, oh, I got it. Remember that call? We're going to have to do it. It's going to piss everyone off. Lovely. Because that's, that's he's what we're so here excited. For. That is what we're here for. Um, but, yeah, he's he's so excited. Excited. He's squeaking away like crazy. Oh, awesome. No, all right, so we have to do that one. Yes. That, that, <laughs> that does sound great. Mm-hmm. What's your real name? When's your birthday? All these are the questions that I asked you before that you never told me the truth about. Why do you want to know now? <laughs> I, um, I, I still want to know why you ever got hooked up with Emma or Lauren, whatever her name is. Whatever possessed you to do all this sick shit. I don't know. I mean, I was really, I, I really did get angry at you when we were doing some stuff. I really was not joking with that because I was trying to help you and you kept getting drunk. You're still not answering my questions. I think, because, I mean, it's so where we, you know, Okay. Did they get? They might have gotten. I think it must have. Yeah. 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 Oh, g'day everyone that's come in in the meantime. Ramona's diaper, edamame, sprinkle cake, honest. Um. Yeah, there's heaps you I missed. I, I literally can't do more than um, one thing at one time, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm having a hard enough time pressing, you know, play and stop, so. Mm-hmm. Dan Hours Power, Tickleby Shivers, g'day guys. Anno Rourke. Come on. Here we go. Kildia. C and J Dev. Didn't know you had a boyfriend. 
I lived with you. Well, you know I'm just impressed he didn't start with his usual. I didn't hang up on you, you know. If something happens, it's the phone. Oh right, it's yeah. Just straight back into it. <laughs> this is how you know he's pissed off. He's like doesn't even want to give you the the spiel. No, he oh. doesn't want any cuteness. He, no, he just wants to get right into the accusation. Exactly, down to business. And g'day, Craig. Oh, I did forget you. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you more stuff about me that you you already know a lot. Um, but my thing is, is that like, you know, I, I wanted to help you and then you were right right until you started pulling the stupid shit. But here's the thing though. I, first of all, I, it, it, I was, my whole wanting to help you was outside of that, like, you know, I don't know how to word it. Um, my helping you should not be contingent on being with you. On what? On being with you. You should be able to take my advice and use it to your benefit. (laughs) Regardless of if you're with me, if you're with somebody, you know what I mean? Regardless of that. And stuff that I've said in the past still applies. I to you to help you in the past still applies. I know that you didn't help me. You did. That's why I believed in you. Because you were going out of your way to be there for me. problem is, is you weren't being honest with me. The other problem is some of the, some of the other sick shit that you did. What did I do? I mean, your name was Ramona from an eight-year-old character in a book, for one thing. I mean, you were 24 when you're not 24. The reason you said the reason that Told me you were 24 is because thought if you were younger, you'd have a better shot at, at me wanting something. I'm like, what the fuck is that? The bullshit. It took me right the fuck off. But here's the thing, you know, when I called you, I was literally expecting to be your friend. That's all. I was literally just expecting that we would talk, we would have nice conversations, and... That's, you know, and that's basically where it would go. I was not expecting you to, like, to decide that you fell in love with me. I was not expecting that, and I didn't I didn't want you to do that. I mean... I wasn't expecting that you wound up having feelings for me, too. I can tell you that. I already know that. Those feelings really creep up for you when you're talking to this guy. Can't, can't um, you know, know when it's going to happen. <laughs> right. Well, you get to see him for who he really is. That's right, and that's you know you get to overlook all of the um, all of the things from his past and all that, and just see the the true um. He's uh, more than what NBC put out. Come on, guys, he give re- him a break. He really all you have is. to do is talk to him, and you're going to be under the spell. Absolutely. Lauren. Yeah. I mean, you... you're going to be right up there next to mom. Yep. You're going to be like Olivia Newton John. Yep. You're right yeah, up on that pedestal. If you can knock that, that bitch out of the way, then you're solid. hundred percent. And look, <laughs> look, I, I haven't said before, but you did really well to kind of keep that at bay, to, you know, keep your feelings down and, you know, stick to the mm-hmm. job and not get get carried away and move your, trot your ass down to Maine. So well done. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was tough. I mean, he's, he's very charming. Absolutely. You've got a lot of self-control, <laughs> clearly. It definitely. <laughs> G'day, Cat G. Expected. It didn't happen as well as you thought it was going to. I already know that. You don't spend nine months with someone who be a, spend as that much time with them without getting feelings for them. <laughs> well, well, you know, things always happen, but... I mean, 
And I, I do love this. And he says this all the time about we spent this much time together. Yeah, you must have feelings though for me. Like, but yeah. that depends on the type of time you spend together. Like, just, mm-hmm. just being in the same vicinity or talking on the phone, if it's shit conversation or if it's abuse, like, it's just... I don't know, it's like he just thinks it's some kind of feelings are osmosis, just like, well, we've been talking for ages, so clearly we're in love. That's pretty much all that it is. I mean, if you think about it, what did he know about Ramona? Not very much. Um, didn't what did know he it... know about Casey? Well, yeah, apart from, apart from, you know, that she was Casey Morrow. Like, he knew mm-hmm. nothing, nothing about her. What did he know about Winnie? <laughs> Winnie is probably he knew the most about. <laughs> well, that was his best relationship. It what was. did he know about Debbie? What What do you think he he knew about Jamie? That's well, yeah, or, or knew Casey. I mean, it's it's the same thing. It's he doesn't know. All he thinks is positive. You know, going in a positive direction in a relationship is just being on the phone. It's just staying on the phone yep that's which, it which is crazy in and of itself but then when you consider that he knows how much he's been recorded he knows how much he's been trolled and all this kind of stuff in the past yeah. by these yeah. same people like it'd be one thing like you could almost understand even though you, if you just you think okay you know this person's talking with this amount of time they must but they must be um, they must like me to be spending time mm-hmm. with me But you know Mm -hmm. that it's to get content out of you. (laughs) He just overlooks that. Sure. Well, yeah, of course he does. But even so, the the conversation is absolutely fucking nothing. Mm. I mean, if you're going to develop feelings for somebody, Mm. whether that's friendship or you you feel, you know, a closeness to them, the, the, (laughs) the stuff that Lauren so desperately wants, even if it's romantic, I don't know. It could be any type of a relationship like that. Yeah. There's gonna be there's going to be deep conversation. You're going to get to know that person on a deeper level versus what did you do today? Exactly. I'm you taking know, my oh, boots you went off. To work today? Yeah. You're just basically all that he knows barely. And he doesn't even know this is the, the demographic information mm. about these people. Like her name's Ramona. She's 24 years old. She, I don't even know that he knows what she does for work. Um, but he knows that she has some kind of a job (laughs) yeah. and that, you know, she lives somewhere and that's pretty much it. That's right. All surface level. Everything's surface level. Exactly. There, there's nothing, there's nothing else. And at the same time, you don't want to have those conversations with Lauren either. (laughs) You know, I, I remember there, there were times where, um, you know, he would, ask a question and I think it was I think it was when it was with Casey and he said something so what do you like to do and it's like I don't want to tell I don't want to really talk to you mm. you don't want to share you any know, of your actual own I don't stuff share yeah it's, it's like this is weird no we're not going to have a real conversation yeah. at all we're just gonna we're gonna talk a little bit to get what we want and then we'll be on our way but yeah, yeah you don't want to have those so, you know, what do you think about, you know, do you always want to live in Maine? Do, do, you, do you always want to be a truck driver? You know, like the, the types of conversations that people have to get to know each other mm. are the types of conversations that no one ever has with Lauren. No. Very well put. I guess. I'm betting you're a little confused yourself. <clears throat> What's up with um, you and Lauren? What about What's up with you and Lauren? What? Like, let me be more specific. Like, how did you wind up being so close to her, and how did she wind up talking you into doing some stupid shit? And why the hell is she so obsessed with me? Probably when she's a sick bitch. 
I mean, you do have a very magnetic personality. And well, I think... Thank you, but that's no reason for some person to stay across the country to be obsessed with me. You say, say again? I said, thank you, but that's no reason for some weirdo clear across the country to be, be obsessed with me. Well, you're, I mean, like you're, your guess is as good as mine. I would... I would say you're asking the wrong person because I have no clue. There's some freak from some other country to be obsessed with me, do Andrew Burkett, weirdo. Oh man, well, I do agree <laughs> with Lauren there. He is a weirdo. <laughs> Shout out to Andrew. Yeah, I'm gonna need to have that clipped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's good at that? That's Get my on favorite. It. it is. Yeah. I had to, I had to laugh when I heard that come on when I was kind of skimming through it earlier. <laughs> One strange friggin' boy. He's a stress. Clip that bit. He's a strange yes. friggin' boy. The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, get to work. <laughs> you. Well, you. Attracted quite a interesting bunch, I guess. I bunch. I said bunch. An interesting bunch. Bunch, yeah. yeah that's, that's another thing that blows my mind. Found all my friggin' channels still growing. Not, I've even been on it for over three months. It's got a quarter of a million that shit clicks. Why would it be growing, Lauren? It's just be all your supporters, you know, that are, it's got nothing <laughs> well, to do. Well, that's the thing. Yep. That's the thing. It, it completely blows him away that every single person that is on that channel commenting and interacting with it are trolls. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't understand that people don't actually like his singing. Mm. No one's going to come across that. I know that we get random channels that get recommended. Mm-hmm. You know, so if you, I guess, were really interested in country music or John Denver or whatever, but I don't think he put any tags in his videos or anything like that, so... I'd be surprised if he did, and then like you say, yeah. you get stuff recommended based on, you know, the algorithms and that, but yeah, it's not going to be coming up, that's... His algorithms aren't going to be country music lovers, like, because no, people right. there aren't also <laughs> country music lovers, and they'll be like, oh, all these people yes. that love country music are going to lawn. Yeah, uh, no, exa- exactly. So there, there's literally nobody. Yep. Yeah. It's, the quarter it's... of a million clicks are us weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well guys. Done. Well Thanks. done. This green has it been that long? I think so. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it, it has been that long. Let's see, what was it, April or was it May? May. Yeah. A week, after, a week or two after I lost my job. But anyway, you still not answering any questions. Okay, what? what I don't, I'm asking you. Okay, what are your questions? I'll answer. What's your real name. Okay, I'll answer that stuff at the end. Why? Why? I will answer that. But go on. What's your next question? How old are you? Righto. So we are going to cut there and leave on a bit of a cliffhanger for next time. So next time oh, we come geez. back to the... <laughs> I, just, I, just want, I just want suspense, you know. That's um, So next time we will stay tuned when we find out how old is Ramona. So... Um, are you guys sitting on the edge of your chairs? Because I am. Abs- absolutely. I was waiting. I was waiting to hear how old are you? And look, guys, I promise, and Tiffany, you promise too, we won't go on. We will we will wait in suspense with you guys to find out, yeah? Yeah, that's, that's I'm not. That's the least I'm we not, can do. I'm not going to cheat on you. Very good. So, I'm what, not a Dan lover, Eric lover. <laughs> fucking Dan lover. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, unless he's wearing those jeans because you're only human. Oh. Man, <laughs> the way that the way those little those little jewels sparkle, mm. that he bedazzled on there, yeah. Fantastic. So what? Now we... you've got me thinking. So the night isn't over though, guys. So don't panic. What we are going to cut to is 
a uh, video that Heelborn is going to be releasing in a few days, I believe, that he has very graciously let us um, stream now. So I know everyone um, always always hanging out for Heelborn's content. So let's do it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I have got to hear this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's get there. Let's go. So I I know nothing about this, everyone. So um, I'm as excited as everyone. <laughs> look at that handsome man. <laughs> wow, look at his mustache. It's um, it's it's like Roy's mustache, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, it's it's like um, good morning, my beautiful really angel. Fall. Okay, it was your night. Oh, they, they okay? You just sent me. Must have been for someone else. I never heard anyone give a response of okay to someone saying good morning. Shut up. Well, <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. Okay. Whatever I do, you keep telling me shut up. Why do I want to stay awake to read you tell me that? So, um, Heelborn, if you're still here, for idiots like me, I'm assuming this is um, like like a readout of, of messages or, or something. Um, yeah, that's what it sounds because that's what was in the Sheffrey call too. Lovely. Which I think is really great because then you can you can hear what happened before and after because sometimes, well, I, not sometimes, I think most of the time the texting after mm. is just as funny as the call. So, you know, we've seen a lot of text messages and, and things like that that have, have come through, um, you know, like the ones that he sent to Debbie and you can see things that come to Winnie and things like that. But to hear it what those messages are at that time yep. as it's happening, even better. Absolutely. I, I completely agree. Like I, um, and because I, I, I like to listen to stuff rather than read it. Like I'm not, or whenever True. I say that, I feel like people think I'm illiterate. I'm not, but I just can well, do, can do share yeah, well. Look, I, we've never <laughs> seen you read. You've never, you've <laughs> never seen me read and, right. and, and maybe you never will. Um, but yeah, I just, it's awesome to hear them read out because then you can just do shit while you're listening. But I, I think the texts are, in a lot of ways, in um, in all of this saga, more, mm-hmm. um, what's the word? Um, but more interesting than the calls in some ways because he's he's pretty unhinged when he texts. And you just think about he him sitting there unhinged. on his <laughs> stupid fucking flip phone. It must take him ages. Yeah. Like It has to. Like I saw, I saw some of the... Um, the text to you know um, Debbie post getting yeah. back out of jail, and they're they're like essays that he's writing. Like who texts this? Long? They are. That's that's really. I know it's really funny that he's sitting there and he's having to to hit the numbers yeah. multiple times to get the letters. And then what do you do when you mess up? And it would it would take. Know. I mean, unless he is amazing, it would take ages because I mean it's been a long time since I've had one of those phones where you know you're yeah. a, a a a or I mean one 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 and all this to get a. But yeah. you'd fuck up all the time. I mean, I fuck up with, with a, a normal phone. So, um, I don't know. Well done, Lauren, I guess. <laughs> there. Right. I'm tired and I miss you. I'd rather have her good morning say back to me. Shut up. Go back to bed. Let me try this again. <sighs> good morning, my beautiful, precious angel. Okay. I really didn't think you would be awake so still considering it's 4 a.m. there. Shut up. Roscoe and Sadie and Roy say good morning. I love you. Okay. You're a smart ass, honey. Okay. And you're extremely beautiful. Shut up. Smart ass. Royal bedroom in the shed, honey. Honey, will you be my Valentine this year? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you don't oh, know who I am, but I, I know to... where you live. Well, I think I know where you, who you are. And I know you know where I live. You don't know who I am, but I know where you live. <laughs> oh, okay. Who are you then? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She's so charming. Yes. Dear. Yeah, and I love he's he's like all been you know trying to be all cutesy and that, and it's this nothing better, especially when he's like that, than. How she's just like, shut up, fuck off yeah. upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, play again. Here. <laughs> uh, 
I thought you were going to say something. You wanted me to shut up. But she just wanted you to shut up. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> How are you? Do you like scary movies? Sometimes. Do you? Oh, he's eating, isn't he? He is. He is. Would you like to play a game? What kind of game? That sounds familiar. It does sound familiar. <laughs> and I don't watch scary movies, and I know what that one is. No, that that's right. And, and I, I love with Lorne, like, he never gets any prop, pop references. Because, I mean, mm-hmm. I I have not watched a second of Saw, but mm-hmm. everyone knows that, that line, but I'm sure he doesn't. That's not Saw. Isn't that's it? Scream. Do you want to play a game? Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it Scream? Oh. The very even... first one with um, Drew Barrymore. Oh, oh well, wow. okay, yep, everyone is into it. <laughs> Fantastic. Um... See, I don't say dumb things all the time. <laughs> Sometimes I'm right. You, you are. Well, well done. I will be clipping this out. Um, and Hilborn said that he didn't edit out the silence. Of the robot, so yep. that we can all experience exactly what Lauren did. Fucking sitting here in silence waiting for <laughs> what Jamie has to say. Whatever insult she's going to throw at him. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, no. Now people are saying it's sore. I- I'm not prepared to say is that it? I'm wrong here. No, it, it no. It's Scream. I'm sorry. All right. We're going to keep... Scream. I, I don't know. Aha! It scream is. is what's your favorite scary movie. craigo has got my back. God damn it. Yes. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Coping or charcoal? I guess Groping I've never played it before. I guess I've never played it before. Which one do you like more? What's croping? Croping or charcoal? What is croping? Croping. And and knowing that oh, now, okay. what he what Heelborn said about how he just leaves it like it is is even better because just I'm sitting there going fucking come on and this is what Lawn does the whole time. <laughs> he's just sitting there. It's the yeah, full Lawn experience. There. Yeah. He's sitting there waiting for his love to <laughs> tell him something sweet. <laughs> yep, probably. And if it's a long time, probably thinks, oh, maybe it's going to be a poem. And it's just like, fuck off. Shut up. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Cro- crocane? Or cropane? Propane. Or propane? <laughs> propane or charcoal? Propane. The call is The call is coming from inside the house. <laughs> there we go. No, that's not Scream, is it? Uh, I no, no, no that's an old movie. Yeah, that's like um that one where the babysitters um it's it's like a Hitchcock movie, isn't it? It's like the babysitters. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this this is great. We are we are so good at um at <laughs> scary movie trivia. You do it yeah. here. <laughs> Come back next week, guys. Next week, guys, to listen to Cornville and Tiffany fuck up more movie quotes. Oh yes, yeah, I'll fuck up everything. <laughs> Run, Lorne. Save yourself. There's no time. I <laughs> 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 just hang up. Hello. Hello. Why'd you hang up? I don't know who I am, but I know where you live. Why did you hang up? <laughs> is coming from inside the house. <laughs> you could at least okay. make an incorrect guess, Lord. <laughs> what? 
why am I 89, Keldeer? <laughs> Not nice. <laughs> What's that Seems you? very harsh. Yeah. And like, is it better that I'm 88? Like, I don't. Like... I don't know, but I'm two steps behind Lauren. That's that's that's, <laughs> that's awful. Really bad. I'm I'm really yeah. I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah. Hopefully you. Unfortunately, I know it's the wall. It's the crow cane. Run, lawn, run. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna hang up again, are you? Run. I hope so. Me too. Come on, Jamie, hang up. I don't up. want to run. I want to sit where I'm at. Scream at the crow cane. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, All right, and, and in the chat, guys, what is this? What what movie is this? Scream at the crow cane from. I don't want to wake the dogs. Ah. Sounded like a <laughs> a sheep. Yeah. Or a cow. <laughs> get that into you. It's going to get you. Ah. It's okay, pretty girl. Lawn, <laughs> sacrifice yourself for the dogs. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what you're doing, honey. You really don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, this must be your your doom game. Doom. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, I'm not afraid of you. Oh, oh I know I that one. Bloody Mary. Yeah, yeah. I I used to scare myself with that one. Yeah. Younger. Well, that that was it. I I used to I stopped watching a lot of horror movies kind of after I was like I only watched like the old ones when I was young like it and that like it scared the living shit out of me honestly yeah like I was um yeah I still don't even like thinking about it give me a shot of sex on the beach then wow Lauren that was hilarious <laughs> got any others <laughs> the, ro the robot's still laughing that's the that's the delay uh, yeah and Tickleby Shivers Candyman. Okay, that is the movie that I, I don't even like oh. thinking about anymore. That's really scared me. And Children of the Corn. Oh, gross. Save me. Don't be rude. Yeah. Yeah, honey, why did you scare her? She's skittish. <laughs> I know. Thankfully, she knows me and she's comfortable with me, so. Oh, I'm sure. Is she? Yep. Yes, she is. She has to lay next to Mr. Daddy. No, I know. Sometimes it fools me, too. Oh. Yes, honey. <laughs> How long have you gone down on a woman for? Oh, he's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know, a long time. I we like staying down. We're going to need specifics. What's the longest? I don't know, honey. I never count the time. I mean, never time myself. I'm not usually concentrating on the time when I'm down there. <laughs> but you do everything else. <laughs> but you huh? do with everything else. I do? Like what? Sex. <laughs> well, that's just because I knew what time we got in there, and then I checked to see what time it was when we got out of there. Hours, minutes. What, did I go down on a woman? Seconds. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
I'll stay there for hours on eating. Oh, oh fuck off! I like giving up a good meal. Bullshit! This is, is like... that a good meal? Yep. Yep, let that sink in. <laughs> but, like, like, why does he... Like, he, he's clearly lying, but why ma- make such crazy lies? Like, if... If you're lying, <laughs> just say five minutes. There you go, five minutes. You know, no, you know, you're not spending hours down there, you dickhead. No, of course not. And no one is gonna want you to. Like exactly. That. <laughs> That's probably more important. At some point, point, she's gonna be like, "Okay, can we wrap it up here, please?" A hundred, a hundred percent. I mean, even if you know the person wasn't lawn, and you know, I don't speak for all women, but I'm, sh- I don't think anyone wants that for hours. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like you say, like, no. I got shit to do. Like. Come on. Oh my god. That wasn't the question. Hours. Hours is the longest you've done this. Hours is the longest you've done it. That I've had sex? Yeah, I had sex for two hours one time. <laughs> what, all evening woman? <laughs> so he spent hours down there, but mm-hmm. the longest he's had sex is two hours. Right. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Which one are you talking about? You're the one talking about something else. Well, I, I don't know. You get me lost now. You got yourself lost. Probably. As long as I've stayed down on the woman, it's probably about a half hour. Oh, so... <laughs> you just said that you didn't know because you didn't keep track and now it's a half hour even that would be too long that's right so in the space of two minutes he's gone from you know no idea baby to hours to half an hour (laughs) long as I've had sex probably about two hours When you say two hours, are you talking about from the time you walked into the room and when you left? (laughs) Yes. Okay, so that was two hours, the whole time that they were together. Yep, so not the sex. So, (laughs) just, so, but are you, um, are you still thinking he's a virgin? Like he's, he's not, he's making a compelling case here, right? Oh, is he? Is that what he's doing? <laughs> so now we're, gonna, we're arguing if he's not a virgin? Nah. Yes, definitely. No, we're def- Even more so now. That's right. This is, this is just further evidence. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that he doesn't have any... I don't know, the, the way that he has this conversation, it's like he doesn't have anything to recall mm. to go along with it. So he's just kind of grabbing stuff out of the air. Yep. He doesn't have any experience at all. No. Nah. And that's it. It's all of his sex stories. Like they're just these fantastical big long stories where in actual fact, if he had had sex with someone, it would have been a bumbling effort after a really drunken night. And like, <laughs> so, but, but, and if he, and if he if he had stories to tell, he would just tell those. Like you you wouldn't need to make up shit about having sex near a brook in the rocks and fucking on Tony's bed and that if you just actually had a story. Right. Yeah, yeah. If you would just think about something, not oh, yeah, probably about a half hour. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. It's a, imagine that tooth on you for because <laughs> you know you know that thing is scraping. A hundred a hundred percent. The um. Be worse than yeah. sandpaper. Yeah. Blood everywhere. <laughs> you didn't tell me on your period, baby. I would have put down a trash bag. That's right. Gotta Can get the trash question? bag. <laughs> oh, Lauren has a question. Here we go. So that isn't the length you had sex then? Oh, 
it was close enough. As soon as we get in the room, I close her off. <laughs> Throes of passion. As soon as we were done, yeah. We were out of the room. From just about. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> So they just like walked in. They yeah, it's like it's like they just walked in, threw their clothes off, and just he just started hammering. <laughs> That's it. No foreplay, just clothes off. No foreplay. He's just he's plowing it in, and he's just pounding <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> he stuck it straight in, straight into a core. Dampness everywhere. <laughs> right, her core was already damp. <laughs> Oh How could it not be, you know, if they spent any time together before? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Can you jerk off for two hours? Fuck no. Why? Because it's not the same. It's like I told you the, the other night. It's it's not even close to the same thing. Jerking off is not even close to the same thing as actually being in person. So you can faster with your... Yep. <laughs> he likes it better. Yeah. And and he's got all those fucking blisters and calluses on there, so he's got to be quick, do some real Well, damage. that's where the condoms. That's where the of condoms course. come in, so you don't you don't chase it. <laughs> How could I forget about the condoms? Yeah. Nope. I enjoy it more with a woman. So I make it take take longer. With my hand, I don't want to sit there and jerk off and <laughs> for as long as what I'm with a woman. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I <laughs> know. I just enjoy it longer. It feels better. So I make it I make it last. Just concentration. Fuck off. Before it's too late. Or before it's too early. Oh, this is awful. I mean, just imagining any of this is real. Like, imagining that he has actually had sex with someone and then talking about how he holds off to make it last longer. I mean, the, <laughs> the poor woman he was with, like, he'd be like, you know, stop, stop it. Like, fuck no, I'm not stopping. This is ending That's now. That's good, yeah. <laughs> Coming faster doesn't mean better. Not even in, in the slightest. Concentrate on on not coming too fast. <coughs> How do you do that? Because when you're jerking jerking off, you're just doing doing it so you can get a release. Being with a woman, you're doing not it to have more. Lawn <laughs> lawn the sex expert. Tell yeah, us let more. me finish what I was saying. Jerking off, you just do it to release. Being with a woman, you do it for the, because it's enjoyable. And you want to save that time. Okay, well, glad I waited for that non-answer. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do it? you just gone straight on not, on not coming. What? Don't come, yeah, don't come. Yeah, you gotta just stop. It's just sitting there going, don't come, don't come, don't come. Like the yeah. opposite of the little train that could. Yeah. Or, 
Jerking so off, you, you go faster. Tell yourself, don't boom over and over. I trained to do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> he trains. Trained to do what? Trained to not come so fast. All those one night stands. That's it. That's what it was all leading up to. You know, just mm -hmm. getting his back catalogue of um expertise. With, his, with a woman, you're not going as fast as you are with your hand. So with your hand, you get it done faster. With a woman, you enjoy the time more. Hope you're paying attention, guys. You could all learn something. Yeah, just concentrate. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Do something for your woman and fuck her for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to love it. Absolutely. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, how about you? Do you come faster with your finger or... With an actual person. <laughs> like honestly, this is just asking for her to talk about Wildo again. Like this is just setting her up to give you Wildo, shit about it. Wildo, Maggie Jo. Yep. Um, anyone else? Yeah. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Great layup, Lauren. <laughs> yeah. I boom fastest with MJ. <laughs> there, ah, you there you go. There you go. Yeah. Who makes me boom almost as fast. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> she can't help herself. No. Wow. Yeah, he doesn't like that. <laughs> what happened? What? <laughs> Someone's not happy. <laughs> Get the solid treatment. He's the one who asked the question. Exactly. And now he's just going to sit there in silence. Because, <laughs> because she did exactly what he knew she would have done. <laughs> oh, but then he coughs so you know he's still there. So don't think I've hung up. Okay. This is just me punishing you. Yeah. MJ with Wildo. Holy. Don't get me started. <laughs> oh, believe me, I try not to. More crap for put down. That's what that sounds like. Yep. Getting <laughs> in your punches. Punch. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, Shinzi's mind is empty. Hello. <laughs> I mean, this is just oh, a crewing man. time. This is, you know, this is just adding, ticking over the oh. closest time. Oh, for? sorry. I'll go back. Okay, bye. <laughs> what are you saying bye for? <laughs> saying bye already. Apparently, you don't want to talk to me too bad. You but... aren't saying anything. Well, you're talking about fucking Wildo and Maggie Joe. You asked. No. Jesus. <laughs> he didn't want specifics. No. I just wanted to hear, no. is it better with somebody? And then they can talk about how they're going to be together and he's going to do it so good for her. Yep. That's what he wanted to do. But instead, Jamie had to talk about Maggie Joe. 
always talking and about Will Maggie Dell. Joe. Yep. All the time. Yeah. And, and you're right, because he had this plan in his head. It's like everything he plans out just gets fucked up straight away. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. You asked what makes me boom quickest. I answered. Whatever, I guess we can get on a different topic. Do you have any suggestions? Or... <laughs> oh, what did you do today? Okay, Lauren. <laughs> well, I did Maggie Joe and Wildo. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Was on my computer. Oh, yeah. Did you win? No. You didn't win any games? No. Well, you're just learning, so you get better. Then you win them. Is it a hard game? Yes. Good, so you get a challenge then. See what I mean about regular conversation? Yes. <laughs> yes. He has no idea what she's talking about. No. No idea. And, and no desire to put in any effort to understand. He just... Ugh. No, I mean, he, you know, he he doesn't play computer games or <laughs> video games, none of it. So he has no idea, but... Yep. I mean... And I love how he says, like, in another call, he says about how... Oh, I think it's a call of Ramona where... Yeah, it's a call of Ramona. Ramona suggests, you know, you should play a video game to occupy your time, you know, so you're not harassing the fuck out of me. And he's like, yeah. nope, don't play video games. Like, he's really proud of that. Like, no one, no one gives a shit. Like, that's not... If you play video games awesome like that's you know something at least more productive than abusing people or children like you never yeah. you're never going to get the high road on not playing video games right did you did you see the text that i wrote you one of the bad guys looks like you oh yeah do you try to kill him <laughs> definitely <laughs> yep I killed every one of them. Even me? Or even the one that looks like me? Naked hairy creatures. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot she the text until she said naked. He's naked right now. He has to be. Yep. I I tend to assume he's naked ninety percent <laughs> of the time. <laughs> but it is it is always yeah. funny to think about that. Like when they're having these arguments, he's just standing there stark naked. It's incredible. Yeah, or he's laying or he's laying in bed or something. Yeah. Or sitting on that chair. Yep. Oh, that uh... chair. That would um, that has seen some horror days. <laughs> his ass chair, and then he has that recliner in front of his TV. Oh yeah, yeah. That's got to be even worse because that's fabric. That's it. You just have to burn it. You could, you could never get that clean. Mm -hmm. It's um, yeah. It'd be like one of those things you burn it, and all these like ghosts and shit fly out of it. <laughs> all, the shit. all the demons, yeah. Mm -hmm. Earlier. I was playing Doom. No. Well, I asked you if you would be my Valentine this year. 
<laughs> so this is January 10th. Yep. So he's over a month away. It's getting in early. From the Valentine's. He wants to plan. Yep. That's it. Aw. He, okay. well, he's, he's got to start writing his poem. I mean, it probably doesn't take him 15 mm. minutes anymore. You know, things get slower as you get older. So mm-hmm. he probably needs a bit more than 15 minutes. He's not it's as It's going to be an epic poem like yeah. Beowulf or something like that. <laughs> You if you would be my Valentine this year. Why? Why? Oh, that was a nice, How Jamie. Kind of answers that? <laughs> yeah, what kind of answer is that? Don't you be so cold. Bitch. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, Spiegel Cake says it's his lazy Roy. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to? No. <laughs> no, thanks. Mm-hmm. How old are you? <laughs> What's your point, Jamie? Ooh. Well, look, listen, that tone change. That was definitely a tone change. He's hurt you know, now. Even, even, when, <laughs> even when she was throwing her punches <laughs> with calling bullshit on his sex, essentially, by talking mm. about you know how long and all that it, he just kind of was like well you know i mean he was he was pretty tame now yep he's getting fired up yep you've um you know you've turned down my invitation to be valentine's day this shit's getting real yes <laughs> please yell <laughs> yes <laughs> everyone deserves it come on lord My point is that last time I was asked that I was like eight. (laughs) That's a fact. Oh my god. Whatever. (laughs) Okay. Obviously, you don't want to give me a valentine. Wow. <laughs> and what does being your valentine entail? Excellent question. Yep. Bravo, Jamie. I want to know too. Absolutely. I, I, I do. I love it when they actually ask him to explain this bullshit. Like when he's asked, you know, what does I believe in you mean and all this kind of stuff. So yeah. stand by for a great answer, I'm Nothing, sure. Nothing, Jamie. Oh, wow. Be my fucking Valentine. Wow. Fucking Valentine. Never mind. Okay, bye. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> whatever. He is really cut up. <laughs> so now he's just going to sit there? Yep. Okay. This is your punishment. When you say no to he being his Valentine, you sit in That's silence. That's true. You you have to know that you pissed him off. Yep. I bet you Jamie's sitting there right now going, Oh fuck, I've really done it this time. Come on. Yeah. Get him get him back. <laughs> Don't let your prince get away. Are you a child? <laughs> Jamie <laughs> Why do you do yeah. shit like that? Oh, I love the robot so much. I know. Oh my god, Jesus. So you want to be with me, but I didn't... 
try to do things that, that are sweet. And you act like an ass to me about Aww. it. <laughs> so is that what he thinks is sweet, asking her if she wants to be his Valentine? Yeah. <laughs> he does. <laughs> so good. He thinks it's really sweet. Because I said no. And exactly Heelborn, you know, can you imagine waiting this long for a response? Like, anyone yeah. that wasn't fucking you with you would have hung up, would have just been like, righto then, you know, call me back if you're going to start acting like an adult. But but he just sits there. I, I mean, know. he'd you rather want... text than sit here while Ab- someone else is texting and talking. Absolutely, like, because it's weird. Like, I would just hate to sit it in silence weird. like that. It is weird. Yeah, you're sitting in silence, and you're... Who knows? Jamie could be sitting there, too, not typing anything. <laughs> That's right. Want to be my fucking Valentine? What the fuck ever? Meanwhile, millions of other people... Mean, meanwhile, millions of other people walk around with Valentines because they, they actually care about them. Mm. Want, to be, want them to know that it's them they care about. And it's them they want to be with. When Lauren was in school and he handed out his little valentines, yep. do you think that he saved the ones that the girls gave him? Uh, assuming he was given them, 100%. I, like, well, I, when you're in school, you kind of have to, right? You get them for the whole class. Yeah, that's true. When you're in like first grade or something. Yep. Yep. No, that, that, that's fair. Um. And, yeah, he would, and he would take that. I mean, because even when you're, you know, you're, you're younger and that's happening, like, you know that, you know, they haven't given it to you because they're, like, you know, it was just a nice thing they're giving all to class. But he would have taken yeah. that as, oh, wow, you know, she really likes me. Like, and, you know, mm-hmm. hung it up on his fucking sheet rock wall and... Um, yeah, it has hearts on it. Yep, yep. He you probably, know, it's going to... Probably still has it there some... Like, like I'm not... I'm not really now that at some point in all of this saga one of these gets you know sent to one of his catfish to prove that he's had previous girlfriends like look what she sent me look at all those hearts oh right like a uh, something that he saved over the years mm. that mm. his girlfriend gave him yeah nothing would surprise me at this point yeah nothing jamie nothing <laughs> so mad <laughs> I'm not playing that fucking game. It's nothing. Well, this is right up there with as, as mad as I've heard him. Like, you know, yes, he's not raging, but he is so pissed off. Like, he is seething. Yeah. There is no game. No. You're fool me. Unless you are talking about yours, throwing a tantrum because someone said no, sounds like something a child would do. No, maybe you said no because you want to be somebody else's downtime. How the fuck do I yeah, know? Well. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> what was that brave man? Say it louder this time. Maybe you said no. And it is just amazing that he is so cut up about this. I mean, in his mind, they're in a relationship, right? But because she's like a, and I'm always prepared that I'm to be, for it to be that I'm the weirdo. But if you're in a relationship with someone, would you expect them they would ask you to be their Valentine? Like you're already in a relationship. It's really weird. Right. Yeah. I don't get it. But, but he thought he, he was being cute. He thought he was being cute. Okay, so this is what it comes down to. He, he thought he was being cute. This is all that it comes down to, yep. yeah. He wanted her to be like, oh, of course, Lorne. And then like, oh, they would have just moved on. Me. No one's asked me since I was a kid. That's really cute. <laughs> 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 
Well, disappointment yet again. No, because you want to be somebody else's Valentine. How the fuck do I know? Can't tell by the way you act, George Wing. Can't tell by the. Oh. Oh man. Did you lose signal? No, I figured you hung up on me. So you hung up. No, I thought you hung up on me. I'm all over by the phone, so I can't see how the bar was. Right. But, right. Well, right. I thought you hung up on me. Who was your last Valentine? Here we go. I don't answer that. Oh. Oh, come on, Lauren. Come on. You don't like the answer. I don't like it either. <laughs> what is this gonna be? Oh, okay. I want to hear it because I have a guess. Okay, so who was before her? Did you want to make a guess before it's played, or you want to see? I think it. I think it's gonna be Winnie. Yeah, I think it's gonna be Winnie as well. Yeah. Um. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, come oh, on. damn it. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> and a g'day, uh, sh sh Shashank. So this is a, a a call in the, you know, robot series that um, Heelborn hasn't actually released yet, but he's um, letting us very kindly stream, so that's what we're doing. Okay, Hillborn says in the chat that it was Winnie. They skip over her. I was right about something. You Thank were. God. Well done. Lost in fucking time, yeah. What did he say? Don't know. Let's go back. Yeah. Lost in fucking time, yeah. What? Uh, most of the fucking time, yeah. I, I don't understand. I don't know either. Most, most, most fucking time there? Uh, most of the fucking time, yeah. Lost my fucking time now? Uh, most of the fucking time, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think it was Brandy. Brandy? <laughs> no, it wasn't, Lauren. <laughs> has he mentioned a Brandy before, or is this another? He has. No, he has all along. He's he's mentioned a couple of people. Yep. So there's uh, Paula, mm -hmm. and then Brandy was was one too that he's he's mentioned. It's like one of those names that yep. comes up. Yeah. Brandy. There was no brandy. When was that? And certainly... Right, good question. Please answer. <laughs> right before the year, that year before... The year that I got incarcerated. It was that February. What? Okay, February wait. Two... Mm -hmm. So I know that there was the assignment... Yep. That was posted on Blue Boy's channel... And I know that we have some detectives in here that probably know it really well. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping so anyway. But I'm wondering where Brandy was in that. Because he's saying right now that this was right before he got incarcerated. Mm. But I'm wondering if he put a year or an age. Because I think he put ages down in that. Yeah, okay. So if somebody, if somebody can let us know... Yep. I would I would love to know that. Oh, Blue Boy's checking his notes, so... Um... Okay, perfect. <laughs> 2007, okay, that's what he's saying. So, yep. if it's any time, if he mentions... If he mentions any time prior to when he was 36 years old, mm -hmm. then he's busted. Oh, we're on to you, Lord. 
We're on to you. I think you're lying, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just for something different. <laughs> What did you do for Valentine's? Her and I went up to. Where do we go? Hmm. Lauren's thinking. Yep. Well, we went to Lauren's the bar thinking. and. Okay. Bar. We, we ate at the bar before we went to the bar. Okay. What? I ate at the bar before they went to the bar. Yeah, like a like a bar that had a restaurant. Okay, so they went to the restaurant, restaurant part, then went to like the public bar, as we would call yes. it. Yeah. Yeah. We were dining all right there at the bar. We ate there, then we stayed at the bar for a little while. Then I think Sounds we, very romantic, to be fair. We went over <laughs> Tony and Wendy's. Tony and Wendy's. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we went over, over Tony's so. That was. No, we went over Tony and Wendy's. So, Tony and Wendy were together then. What a, what a fantastic date. So, they went to the bar, they ate at the bar, they sat at the bar, then they went back to this dickhead's friend's place where he would have had to bring the beer and listen to him get insulted until he gets told you can't piss in the toilet, piss outside. I mean, if you're not into yeah. him by then, you're never going to be. Right. <laughs> and then we went to my house. Ooh, what happened there, Lorne? And how many hours did it go phone. for? <laughs> <laughs> and I went down on her for... 30 minutes, and then I <laughs> fucked her for two hours. <laughs> it was a great night for me. <laughs> it's good. It's better if it lasts longer. I set a yeah. timer. Went ding, and then we moved on to you sex. Before the bar, at the bar. Yeah. There was a dining hall at the bar. It was the same place that the bar was at. <clears throat> then we went to the bar. Which was at the bar. At that same bar. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> How many times are you going to say bar? Was the bar. Right. Did you get her anything? A card? A flowers? A poem? Chocolate? Like, I got her, I got her, um, some flowers and a card. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Flurs. Um, there's something else. What the hell was it? No, nope, nothing, Lauren. Come he's, on. He's remembering a commercial that he saw. That's it. So or something. <laughs> if he says chocolates next, that is confirmed. He's just he's just naming all of the the cliche. Yes, that's things. that's an excellent that's an excellent. Uh, Excellent point. We'll see what he says. But Blue Boy said that he dated Brandy when he was 35 for two weeks. Ha <laughs> ha! Two weeks they dated. You fucking liar. I always <laughs> knew you were lying. So that would be before he, he got incarcerated, like the year before. But it wouldn't be... Tw tw it wouldn't be 2017, though, then, right? Like, because he was... 36 all through 2017 until he turned 37 um, when he was busted. He, right. But it was close. Yeah, it was close. Righto. It wasn't, it wasn't like it was, you know, he didn't say, oh, I was 29 and I dated Brandy. You know what I mean? Yeah, cool. No, that's all right. All right I'll give it like a pass mark. <laughs> Fine, Lord. it's funny that for two weeks and yep. he got her a card. <laughs> Why would you see? He's, yeah. He's making it up. Anyway, so we have to see what his, his next thing is then. What's yes, it going to be? Exactly. And But as Shin says, why couldn't they stay at the table and drink instead of walking over to the bar? Hunter as well. Well, because that's the, that's the second part of the date, Shins. It's like in, yeah. it's like in Taken Abroad. All dates have three different things. You know, you've got dinner, movies, and then dancing. So mm -hmm. the bar was like the movies, I guess. Yeah. 
and Tony and Wendy's was the dancing. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I think I got her a stuffed animal, too. Oh! <laughs> How can I forget the stuffed uh, animal? Oh my god, that's so... <laughs> <laughs> Teddy bear that said... That said oh, I love you? My valentine on it. Oh, wow. That's not cliche at all. None of this is cliche. No. It's all very, very original. I guess what right. It was. When he does those little clarifiers at the end, mm -hmm. like, that's what it was. Or when he says, I think it was a teddy bear, I think. When he says that, he's lying. Yep. That's right. I, I think that's I think that's a pretty good tell when nah. he's lying because he's making it up. Yep, a hundred percent. And he just it's like in order for him to believe that this lie is gonna be believable, he has to keep talking. Yes. So he puts in those little filler words. <clears throat> that that's right. And see that's what all whenever he's lying, he just goes on and on and on. Whereas <laughs> it's the opposite of what is believable. Like if you're telling the truth, right. you don't need to fill it out. But he <laughs> Right. And then it'll, you know, he'll be like, you know, well, that's, and that's what happened. So, oh, well, okay then, if that's what happened. Yeah. And just like Hale Born said, why would you give someone all this at the bar? <laughs> you just, get, you walk in with flowers and a teddy bear and <laughs> just be like, here you go. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like. Now you're going to have to carry it around with you. Yep. It's like John Dupay, you know, just getting there and. Handing over the present after present after present. And right, then. yes. <laughs> and he's handing them off and it's really weird, like staring at her. Yep. Did she like it? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then, then you've got to drag around this fucking teddy bear that says I love you to everywhere you go. Yeah, and the flowers. What are you going to do with flowers? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> put, them, put them in a pint. Right. What did the you, guys have, you guys have pints, right? Mm-hmm. They're good. I don't remember what I said now. I had some poem on it. No one that I wrote. What flowers did you get? I get her roses, red roses. Of course you did. <laughs> what color was the bear? Uh, I think he was red. Oh, no. Why would you get the red bear? Have you ever seen a red bear? Oh, I... <laughs> they probably, yeah, I'm sure that they have them, but why would you think that? That's that's right, and like he's going for the stereotypical shit where like with a Valentine's thing, wouldn't it be like a white bear with a red heart? Exactly. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what it would normally be. Go walk into any Walgreens and you'll see what Lauren... Got his fake date. Yeah, he can't even make up the stereotypical tropes properly. Right. It was red and it had like a green heart on it. No, it didn't. <laughs> Why would it have a green heart? Oh, jeez. What is this, Christmas? He's getting all of his holidays mixed up. He is. <laughs> what a horrible Valentine's Day there. It really, it really is. And Shins, you know, two weeks, how could you say you love you? Well, normal people mm -hmm. couldn't say that after two weeks, but two weeks with Lorne, you're lucky you're not married. I mean, you would be so far yeah. down the track. I'm pretty sure love you would be like after the first date. Like that's, you know, <laughs> can I have a kiss? I love you. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I never asked her what her favorite flower was. <laughs> I just get her roses because most women like roses. What did you both have at the bar before the bar? No, uh, hell, I, I don't come to hell. Oh, let me think. Mm. 
Make something up. I think I had a steak, I think. And so, like, just on here... See? Yep. See what he just did? Yep. Yeah. But what, like, I mean, what he was, say, 35, I think, was said before when this happened, and he's, what, near 50 now or 50 or whatever. I mean, the actual, whether or not this date happened or not, the actual probe response is probably like, fucked if I know. It was, like, 20, 15 years, it was 15 years ago. How the fuck would you remember what you ate for dinner then? <laughs> yeah. The fact that he is making up something is just enhancing that this is a lie. Exactly. Yeah, he could easily say, I have no idea. But so why would he think that he had a steak at a bar? Yeah, that's right. I don't... Like, that is not... I mean, <laughs> I, I, just, I just don't... He just thinks, I need to answer. Like, I can't just say, look, I don't know, or else I'm going yeah. to look like I'm making it up. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell. <laughs> No worries, Carrot Gaming. I'm um, catching you next time up. I can't remember what she had. Seems like she had some type of seafood or something. Shrimps or something. <laughs> something like that. Shrimps? Yeah. <laughs> were they, were they, Did she get you anything? Were they done on the Barbie lawn? Yeah. No. Of course not. <laughs> she got me laid that, laid that night. Oh! Bullshit. Uh, got laid. Yes. <laughs> Slayer. Oh, you have sex. <laughs> yep. And that's a comp that's a confident yep. At my own. Yep, In Cambridge. In a bed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> In a bed. Good question though. <laughs> It does need to be asked. Mm-hmm. Did she enjoy it? Yep. Oh, I was hoping we were going to get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How could she not? Did she boom? <laughs> of course he's going to say yes. I don't know if she did or not. I know <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lauren, that is the most important, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. It really doesn't matter, does it, Lauren? As long as you do. Because <laughs> I never asked her either. Um. When did you break up? <laughs> I was only with her for two weeks. So he he didn't ask her. Why why would he have to? Even if she was faking it just for, you know, this horror ordeal to be over, you would be aware if it happened or not, or if she was pretending it happened or not. So what he, he thinks that he, after sex, you know, there'd be no change in the way she was, and you'd have to go, did you know, did, did you coom? I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah. know. Was that good for you? <laughs> <laughs> it was the worst night of my life. If you have to ask. Exactly. Was Valentine's your first date? Uh, kinda. Yeah, I only went on a couple of dates with her. Yeah, but that was, that was kind of our first one. Our first, that wasn't the first time I had sex with her, though. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> We had gotten together at one of Tony's parties. <laughs> one of Tony's famous parties. Tony, yeah. Night, Mandy. Bye, Mandy. When was the last time you were, had Seems a Valentine? Seems like that's where you always hook up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I hung around Tony a lot. 
the hottest house in Cornwall. Every weekend, Hell yeah. Well, for quite a while, anyway. That's where the party place was. <laughs> I met a lot of people I didn't didn't know. They weren't all that that great of people. Some of them. You were there. I was there. When was the last time you had a Valentine? Wait a minute, honey. Wasn't you my Valentine last year? No. Yeah, it. We get together in February. Was that... Wasn't it right around Valentine's Day? No. <laughs> so it must have been at the end of February. That was back when you were romantic with me. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. The way they were. Yep. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be gone now, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you didn't abuse me and abuse me. Ha uh ha. -huh. I don't abuse you now, honey. Aww. Right. He doesn't do that anymore. No. Nah. Okay. He's got past that. I don't accuse you. Right. I don't. Sure you don't. He just got pissed off. Like, what, 10 minutes ago or so? Yep. About her not wanting to be a Valentine and her cooming with Maggie Joe and Wildo faster. But, but that was 10 minutes ago, Tiffany. That's in the past. Stop that is true. Stop living in the past. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. My remark earlier was just because I was, I was mad. So you're going to be a smart ass. No, you were being a dick. Yep. You weren't being a smart ass. Yep. That's right. That's like the LOLs on the end of the conversations, you know. It's it's mm -hmm. it's just protection in case this goes sideways. Oh, I was just joking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's an excuse. Shock of the century. Oh, honey, honey. <laughs> uh oh, that's, he's losing control of the conversation here. I think Jamie's gonna, about to. Start letting him have it. And he yep. doesn't want that to happen. No. He, he's pulling out the big boys with the honey, honey. I mean, yes. If that doesn't calm the situation down, what else is uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, honey. Really, if you want to calm a situation down with a woman, just tell her to calm down. Works every time. Or ne that she needs to relax. Never failed for me. No. <laughs> what, honey? Relax is a good one. Just relax. Yeah. God, I love you, Jamie. Oh, Where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> she just tells him to shut up and... Yep. And... You abused me. God, oh, I love you, Jamie. God, I love you. And, and What's he's... not to love? She's full of personality. She she is. And, um, you know, very sweet. Uh, <laughs> and he's, he's done that a few times where, you know, there's just... I, I, can probably think of a few Winnie calls and probably a few Debbie calls where he is, you know, raging and then getting raged back at. And then he's just like, I love you. Like, it's just I know. so out of place. <laughs> it is really out of place. For the blog. Yeah. I love you except when you say shit like that and try to <laughs> put me down. Do you get it? 
and that's another thing too. He'll say stuff like that. Oh, I love it. I love the times you're not putting me down. Like unless there is, and I know there are some unreleased calls, but unless there is like a lot of unreleased calls where there's all these nice moments, where are these moments, Lorne? Because it is always putting you down. It is always yeah bad times. It's not great. It's really not great. No, nah, but he lives in this this world where this this is just a small part of our relationship. We get over this, and mm-hmm. we're all good. Yeah, you call me fat. <laughs> <laughs> he hates that. that. It's just a shirt. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you heard, but Sam Smith has been sent to the hospital. Oh, I heard. You're trying to put me down again. Lord. Don't know why. Put me down. What, honey? Is the creature of the Black Lagoon your autobiography? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now he's just going to agree with everything. Yeah, exactly. I see you're showing me love that I don't. Don't start with that. Did you get the picture that I sent you earlier? You'll get an answer you'll cry over. Yes. Oh, the, that you don't love me? Yeah. I know. You love Maggie Joe and you love Will. Whatever. Exactly. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Who wouldn't? Well, yeah, 100%. Like, why? Um, except for Lauren. Nah. <laughs> but you don't want me to think Everyone loves them except Lauren. Anyway, about your picture. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? A little, a little different from what his bedroom was before, huh? Stop saying I'm playing a game, Lord. You are the one who's full of shit and being caught in lie after lie after lie. <laughs> Jamie, don't tell me you're not playing a fucking game when you're telling me that you're in love with some I'm other woman. Around. Don't tell me that you're not playing a game when you're telling me that you're in love with some other woman and that you can constantly say that you love Will, but you can't tell Fuck me. You. See? You don't want me to point out what you're doing what you're doing wrong. I can love who I want, that's not a game you moron. Yeah, you can love who you want but when when you're trying to tell me that you don't love me, you know, that's that's kinda irritating. <laughs> it's irritating a little answer. bit irritating. Yeah. <laughs> I really I really find just that quite annoying. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you that I love you, and you're just like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off upstairs. Yeah. Come on, play. Careful. But when you treat me like shit, why would you think I would? I don't treat you like shit in, in, like I used to. For some reason, you don't want to see that. <laughs> why is this the conversation with every single girlfriend? Yeah. Like, I don't treat you like shit like I used to. I used to be abusive, but I'm not anymore. I don't call you a bitch or a whore or whatever else he was saying to Ramona. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't, I don't do that anymore. I don't. Yeah, that's right. You know, and so there's one constant there, Lorne. Like, I wonder what that would be. In a couple weeks. Jamie, it's been longer than that, and you know it. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> Name of time. Hold on. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're gonna be fucking kidding me. <laughs> what? What 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 happened? Hello. I heard like Like footsteps? Yeah, almost like that or like tapping. Yep. 
And then I think he hung up. Law knew what it was. Yeah, he did. He was not happy. <laughs> Why do you think you need to get Will involved on, on everything that... Um, oh, Will! Okay, she was calling Will. Yay, it's Will. Uh, come on, Will. Get in there. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's a Siggy. Hey, Will, how many times have you abused me? Never. Oh, Jesus <laughs> this is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love you. Come here. Ooh. Wow, well, here we go. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot. How come? Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at the. Hello. <laughs> Did you lose the the no, I didn't. Hmm. <laughs> he did that on purpose. Oh, where did you go? I hung up. I'm gonna fucking have you rubbing that shit in my oh, face. My. <laughs> You're not gonna rub that shit in my face. You love Will, but you don't face. love me. You're not gonna fucking rub it so in my face. Good. Oh, you missed the point. <laughs> no, I didn't miss the fucking point, Jamie. I haven't been abusing you. You don't want to fucking let go of the past. Yeah, who would have thought you would fucking let go of uh, the past, huh? You just can't do it. I just... I, I, just, haven't been a... I love this this picture of him, like, because he's clearly sent that to show that he was pissed off. Like, yeah. he, he needs to show how fucked off he is. Like, what a weird thing to send someone. Yeah, he's sitting there making the pout and he's holding his arm out. <laughs> yeah, that's the... get that. You're exactly right. That's the other thing. <laughs> Imagine him he's sitting with his arm like that. <laughs> Oh he's God. purposely making that face and having his head turned to the side. <laughs> he's such a loser. Abusing you. Oh my God. And look how happy Jamie looks over there. <laughs> she is loving Huge it. Huge smile. <laughs> <laughs> well, Will's just coming, so why why wouldn't she be That's smiling? true. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Will said he never abused her, then she's like, get over here. I see, that's Give what... some sugar. <laughs> <laughs> will, will you be my Valentine, Will? Yeah. But you can't exactly. let go of the fucking past. You can't take into I consideration the fucking people and their emotions, Lord. And you can't take into consideration the fucking fact that I've been fucked with on the internet, and that you know the people that I've been fucked with, and I've been trying to let all that go because I love you. Oh. I believed in you. That's why I didn't let go of you. But you don't get take into consideration this fucking shit that you do affects me. Is he going to cry? He's getting close. So you just mentioned me not letting go of the past, then told me to think about your past. Jamie. This shit about me all over the fucking internet because of your fucking ex-friends out there in California. No, don't say that. You assholes. What does yeah. this have to do with anything? Your ex-friends are pieces of shit. It's not the nice, Lauren. <laughs> it's really mean. <laughs> it has to do with... They've got feelings, Lauren. Yeah. Everything. You just want to blame someone else because you aren't getting what you want. Yeah, Jamie, what I want is for you and me to be together here, face to face, and be with each other. You broke up with me. COVID, COVID happened. There's nothing we can do about that. You want to be down there with a specialist with two of your exes? There ain't a fucking thing I can do about that either. But I'm still believing in you. Are you mentioning the past? Well, Jamie, you say it all plays with emotions. You don't think that my emotions count. You just said I can't go back to the past, but you can mention it. I don't want to go back to the past, Jamie. But you keep going back there. You can't get rid of the way that I, I acted. Just did multiple because I've, times. Be, because I've stopped acting that way. You, you can't get rid of that. Times. 
No, I didn't just do it multiple times. What, went to the back to the pastor? Yeah, I did to explain shit to you. That's what I do, stupid. You, you're not doing it to, to explain it. You're telling me that I'm still abusive. I haven't been abusive to you lately. I've been so much more fucking relaxed with you. And... And more trusting. And just the way he so casually says that, like, I haven't been abusive to you lately. Like, imagine telling your partner, like, I've been abusive to you lately. Like, yeah, exactly. Get over <laughs> it. God. With you there. And think about where his, his thought process is, too. Mm. So she has Will come in. Will, of course, is a ge gentleman. Yeah. Perfect gentleman. And she wants to give him a hug or a little loving. Lauren hangs up a couple of times, gets back on the phone, and starts talking about these pieces of shit in California who were fucking with them on the mm. internet. Yep. Well, so. <clears throat> it's not really, um, you know, making her want to not just go and pursue Will or MJ or whatever. Like, there's nothing bringing her back to, to old Lorny over here, is yeah, there? Yeah, of course. And the, the thing is, too, is that it's not related to anything. He just, he, he immediately connects Jamie wanting to give Will a hug or anything, especially with him on the phone, mm. he's looking at that as a game and he equates the game to all of the other stuff that he's endured. Now it's interesting that he's speaking to her because she is technically from the internet. Yes. And if you remember earlier, we heard him say to Ramona, I will never talk to anybody from the internet. <laughs> so I'm really confused how this is happening right now. <laughs> yeah, what, what what happened in between that last call and now? Oh, man, it must have been something, yeah. <laughs> I'd really, like really like to find out. I might have to dig into that. Mm -hmm. I've never been that like this for a long time with anybody. No, that's where Doesn't you help. Wrong, Lorne. I was explaining it, but you don't listen and hear what you want. Usually explaining, I, I heard exactly what you said, Jamie. But still, you didn't need to drag Will in there and say, this is why I love you. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he's always got a male nemesis, doesn't he? Whether it's Will or oh, yes. Angelo or there's always a... The doctor, the, the therapist. Yep. Dan. Dan, there's oh, yeah. Victor at first. Yes, that's yeah, true. There's always somebody. But yeah, he fucking hates Will. That, that doesn't fucking do anything. You can explain it to me in words without dragging Will in, in our conversation. Right, so you know why I don't love you. Because you just said oh. it's because I don't let go of the past. You, yeah, you don't let go of the past. I don't abuse you anymore, Jamie. But you don't want to let go of that. Right, but you did stupid. Well, it's Aiden. There you go. But you That's don't abuse course. me, right? But you don't That's abuse me, right? You right. don't abuse me, right? I didn't say that. But another competition. Jamie, it's not a matter of a competition. It's a matter of we need to treat each other good, like like we're supposed to. Not com not constantly dragging our exes into it. And you saying that you're in love with Maggie Joe? You don't think that's abusive to me? is being told why his actions created something and doesn't listen and says you do it too wah wah <laughs> Jamie I don't do that anymore <laughs> <laughs> but you're still hanging on to it you don't get it holy shit holy shit I, yeah, I know you don't get it it's like talking to a wall yeah, amen to that sheetrock wall
That's right. No wonder Stacy just stopped talking. Oh god, Jamie. Who who's Stacy? They might miss that. I don't know. I am no longer abusive to you. Why do you carry around what I did before? But you were. Were. Were is the word for past tense. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Fucking. Vocabulary <laughs> <laughs> English lessons. lesson. English lessons yeah. with Lord. <laughs> you don't think that changes how people feel? Okay, and I, I, I just explained to you the reason I was like that. Does why do you think I bit? I why do you think I threw such a Does fit about the way you were I with feel? Will? Why do you think I was the the way you? Have, well, that's my fucking Don't go around it. Does that change how I feel? <laughs> Obviously not, because you don't love me. Okay, so Stacy is his new probation officer, as Shin has said. Uh, so Stacy just stops oh, talking okay. to him. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. So, so they're having a conversation, and she's just like, well, she just shuts down. <laughs> just starts doing paperwork. I don't blame her. Yep. I don't blame her. <laughs> Why do you think I threw such a fit about the way I you were with you Will? Throw excuses for your actions and say forget it. Jamie, why do you think I threw such a fit and about the way you were with Will? Work. Jamie, why don't you listen to what I'm saying? Why do you think I threw such a fit about the way you were with Will? It's pathetic how you don't listen and say what you want, then say I'm the one that doesn't listen. Uh, it's pathetic how you don't want to hear what I'm saying. I do. You don't hear what I'm saying. Then tell me, what, I, I, I hear what you're saying and I understand what you're saying. You don't think I do, you so don't. go ahead and tell me. Go ahead and tell me. You don't think I do, but I know I do. So why don't I love you? Because I was abusive to you before. So why was I abusive to you before? Oh, okay. So he's going to explain why it's justified. Mm-hmm. And why she made him do that. Okay, let's hear it, Lauren. Let's see, it was all your fault, what Jamie. Does that matter? See, this is what I'm saying. How does that change it the doesn't... outcome? This is, this is what I'm saying right here. You said, why does that matter? Oh, so it's my fault. Jamie, I'm telling you why it matters. Oh, so it's my fault. Don't pull that fucking crap with me. That's what I tried to see. explain... God damn it, Jamie. I tried to explain <laughs> it to you before. He gets interrupted you didn't... by a robot. He doesn't understand that this is being typed out and then sent. Yep. yep. So he just so thinks he, he's he just butting thinks in. That, yeah. <laughs> fucking rude bitch interrupting me all the time. I don't want to listen. You just blew it off. You are abusive. Period. And you want you wondered why I why I got abusive and mad. You are abusive. Period. Whatever. You don't want to hear anything I'm saying. It doesn't matter the reason. You don't want to hear anything I'm saying, Jamie. You aren't listening to what I'm saying. Oh, I'm listening to what you're saying. I hear every word you're saying, and I know exactly what you're talking about. 
and I try to explain it to you, but you don't want to hear it. You only want to hear what you're saying. You did, then you... Jamie, I'm not abusive to why you did anymore. You did, then you wouldn't be trying to explain why you are abusive. I'm not abusive to you anymore. You are making excuses. Oh, God. They're not excuses, Jamie. They're things that happened. Oh my God! <laughs> he just thinks he can. Brought a he can just drag all his baggage, and that's now his new partner's problem. Mm-hmm. Like, like you know, imagine you know if, if if this is all real, and you know you would in a past relationship you had been cheated on, say. So in your new relationship, you're just going to be, you know, con- so controlling and checking everything that new partner does because hey, you got cheated on in the past. Yeah. Like it's just weird. <laughs> Be into mine and your relationship? No, I shouldn't have. But I had a hard time not doing it because of the way that you were acting with Will. Oh, so because you haven't done it for a couple of weeks, that makes everything go away. Oh, and I just no. go back to how I felt about you. No, Lorne, that is some childish thinking. <clears throat> You don't think that the, that the way you were acting with Will? I, I'm telling you, it was a it was a trigger for me. The way you were acting with Will was a Jesus Christ, Jamie! <laughs> <laughs> Shut Don't your you mouth, stop Jamie. interrupting me and let me talk? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, stop typing but, and let me talk. But he's not abusing her. Like, he's not abusive. Like, no. Just, um, I, I guess the counter just resets now. So, you know, he, <laughs> he, he has one of those things like they have in warehouses where it's like, you know, X amount of days since a, a um, safety accident's happened. And it's just yes. like X amount of days before or hours since last abuse. And he just has to flick it back to zero all the time. <laughs> what are you yeah. asking with <laughs> Will? So you can repeat the same old okay. bullshit. Well, you you obviously don't want to hear anything I'm saying anyway. I hear everything you're saying, and I understand, but I you don't want to hear a word I'm saying. It doesn't matter, and you keep wanting to say it. It, it. it doesn't matter. That's what you're saying, is it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. In other words, the way that I felt doesn't matter. Pretty My much. emotions didn't count. <laughs> no. Just yours. Your abuse is abuse. My emotions didn't count, Jamie. Just yours. Do you understand Your that? excuses don't matter. Do you, no, you're telling me that my emotions didn't count. That's not what I said. It's exactly what you said. No, I didn't. What I had, what I had to say no, doesn't matter. What I had to say doesn't matter. That's what you said. Does it change you abuse me? No, it doesn't. When you don't do the shit that you did before? It doesn't It, it changes. It, it, it changes, but when you, when you repeat the same behavior that you were doing before, you know, of course I'm going to react to it. You're justifying your abuse. <laughs> You're trying to justify why my why uh, my emotions don't matter. And what I'm saying is there is no justification. For why my emotions don't matter? I didn't say that. Same thing. It's absolutely no, it not the same thing. <laughs> no. It isn't. <laughs> because he can, he can be triggered by stuff. Mm. Of course. And of course, I think that there's plenty of things and that would make any 
person in a relationship who's not with their significant other Mm -hmm. who is with other people that they've had past sexual relationships with. I think that a lot of people would be uncomfortable by that. Yep. In particular, if they're in the same house and they're hanging out all together and, you know, Jamie has sex with Maggie Joe all the time with a Wildo. Yes. A Wildo. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, of course, but the fact that he's abusive, that is a totally different thing, but he's putting those things together. That's right. He's like... saying, because I feel a certain way, it's okay that I react to the way that I did, no matter how bad that is. Because if you didn't do that, then I wouldn't do what I do. Exactly. And yeah, you're exactly right there. Like, like, like you say, okay, look, the things that are done to him, if this was a normal thing, like, you know, they're not nice. Like, and that, and that would be hard to deal with. And like, as you, as you put it there, it'd be very hard to deal with someone that has had a, a um, dildo made to be the same, you know, the mold of a previous lover's. Mm-hmm. Um, but you you don't get to just be abusive because of that. Like, if you can't deal with that, which probably a lot of people couldn't, then you, you leave. Like you don't. Yeah, you're you don't all of a sudden people. you don't get you don't you don't get to be responsible for what you do just because it hurts your feelings. Exactly. Yeah, but um, he he doesn't get that. He just thinks, well, you know, cause and effect. This pisses me off, so I'm going to abuse you for it. But that's not yeah, how it works. Exactly. <laughs> it is, Jamie. There's what no justification. Just There's no justification. Stop doing that if you want the fucking answer. There's no justification for me being abusive and, and reacting to things the way I did. Exactly. So in other words, there's no justification for my the way my emotions ran. Not what was said. It's the same thing, Jamie. Two different things. It's, it is not two different things, honey. Yes, it is. Because when you knew, when you did yes, that stuff, is. when you did that stuff, yes, it, it triggered is. things in me. Jamie, stop doing that, please. You're trying to make them the same thing so that you can have an excuse. There's no excuse, Jamie. Then shut up. It was a, <laughs> it was a trigger. Because when you did them things. It triggered in the things in me that had happened before. Blaming me again. Oh, God. <laughs> Shockingly, Lauren doesn't to... understand. Is that weird? No, that's right. And, I mean, if you, um, if you kind of had just come in on this call and obviously you didn't have the robot call, like, so you couldn't identify the robot boy, so this could be any of his relationships. What's being said here... It could uh-huh. be any of the catfish. The, he, right. he, it's just the same old thing over and over. You've done this. This is, you know, I've been abused in the past and this triggers me and that kind of shit. Right. I, I'm sure he has said that at least many times to all of the catfish. No, I'm not blaming you. We both play a part in it. The things I did created your abuse. How is that not blaming me? It was a trigger, Jamie. (laughs) I know you didn't understand it. I don't care. Well, it's maybe irrelevant. that's part of the problem. Right, she understands what you're saying. Yeah, she's just not accepting <laughs> it. She's, no, because it's it's bullshit. Yep. And th- it was a trigger. I punched you in the face. It was a trigger. <laughs> and that's what you it. did before that triggered me to punch you in the face. Exactly. So take responsibility. Accept your, you know, accept your end of this abuse, Jamie. Uh, yes. And we, you know, trigger's a new word for him. I haven't heard that one before, but he's latched onto it. Uh, probably... Yeah, well, oh my gosh, I just did my own, yeah, well. <laughs> I just did it. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we'll clip this um, he, <laughs> he, That's what he does. He will latch onto a word and he'll keep injecting it into the conversation. Yep. 
He's... So this one is trigger, and then he'll come up with another one. I'm trying to think of of another one. Fiance, I think, is what was it? Um, and also boyfriend slash husband. Yep. Yep. I, all of those. He will just keep repeating them over and over again. Yep. I, I can't remember what it was. There was a call the other day I was listening to, and it was the exact same thing. It was like he got a word of the day. And yeah. He, and I, I wish I could remember it, but he said it so many times. It was <laughs> amazing. I know you don't understand it. I don't expect you to understand it anymore. You weren't you weren't there. So you didn't understand a lot of it. Well, you, you, there's no way that you could have. Kind of was. <laughs> was so abused constantly? Uh, yes. <laughs> Did it change my feelings for you? Yes. Does anything you say change those two things? Number. So why do you keep trying? Jamie, I'm not abusive to you anymore. Oh, my God. I just want you to let it go with the Holy path. Shit. Holy just shit. Just forget about it. Holy yeah. fucking shit. Just let it go. It's yeah. Like, it doesn't matter what I say. You're just going to go with what you what's in your head. You just complain until you get what you want. <sighs> Stop projecting what you are doing onto me. I'm not doing anything. Yes, I haven't been are. abusive to you or nothing. I haven't been abusive to you or nothing, Jamie. Did I say that? Exactly. <laughs> Boom, roasted. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to handle that? Like yesterday, I don't even, I don't understand where your attitude came from yesterday when we were just fine the night before. All I can think is, what the hell did I do? When I didn't even do anything. And I tried to get you to explain it to me. You didn't want to explain it to me. Oh, I know how that feels. Trust me. Well, at least we're getting somewhere with it anyway. Well, you're definitely getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You guys are on yeah. the road to recovery. This, this is what progress sounds like, everyone. Mm -hmm. I was accused of shit just tonight, but you don't do that stuff anymore. Okay. I know you. I knew you were going to say that. I thought you were going to say girls too, but... <laughs> <laughs> what does that sound like? Is that more crap for put down? It definitely is more crap is for that put down. That okay. Add it to the file. I explain, but no matter. Right, because you I'm not. What gonna, you did. I'm not. I'm not gonna fucking say anything because I know you're gonna put that in there somewhere. Guess you want to be someone else's valentines. Couldn't be I don't do that corny shit, it had to be someone else. But <laughs> just <laughs> reading it back to him. Jamie, you're a woman, and most women love that stuff. How the hell was I to know? <laughs> do they? Well, there you go. No, you didn't love it. How the hell was I to know that you didn't like it? You females love that shit. You should be soaking it up.
And if I wouldn't have asked you, then I would have been bad for that. So accuse me of wanting someone else. So, so it's, a, it's a catch-22. So accuse me of wanting someone else. Well, you made me feel that way. That's on you, stupid. You don't do that corny shit. When you're here, and when you say I'm gonna want to. When you're here, I'm gonna want to do that stuff because I'm gonna want to take you out on a special night. <laughs> With what money? And I do love, I do love that after all this time, he's still holding on to the, the hope that someone will actually come. Like he still thinks that <laughs> she might actually come. I don't think he wants anybody to come, actually. Yeah, you you know, see, I'm, I don't, so you don't actually think that he wants someone to actually go out there. No. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I don't know. I I feel like he he. So why do you think he goes on about it all the time? Because it's the fantasy. Yeah. Okay. So if you they, know, it's the it's the it's the idea that somebody is out there. Yep. That he can have this relationship with that this is the relationship for him. Yeah. It's not hanging out together. It's not going out. It's not any of that. This is the relationship. This is where he can dream about how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be so much better than it actually would ever be. Because there's no way. Yeah. So, so if they actually did go, you know, send him a photo of their ticket or saying, I'm coming, Lord, he'd be... See, see, I, thought, I, I do see what you're saying, but, like, you listen to the TSA call and he was so pissed off when he realised Casey wasn't coming. Like, he was so excited when they're going to the airport and it's going to happen. Like... Yeah, well, the thing is, first of all, he was really drunk as true. well. True, yep. Um, but I, I think he would be excited. Yep. But I don't think that it would ever live up to any kind of expectation. That, no. You know, it just it just wouldn't be good because he would be so awkward. He would be so nervous. <laughs> he wouldn't have anything to say. I mean, because you, you hear his conversation. There's nothing to say. No. That's it. Nothing. No. So he would just be squeaking like, I can't believe you're here. <laughs> you know, like that type of thing. And he would start laughing his smoker's laugh and... He'd want to smoke and yeah. <laughs> just be, it would be really awkward. It would be really awkward. I so, do. I do agree. Yeah. yeah. No. I'd, and and that's, would. what's the word? Like, it would be just like when he was at the sting house, that whole, you know, can't look at her in the eyes and like you say, giggling and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So maybe, <laughs> maybe he wants it, but reality would be, um, would be a disappointment to him. Yeah. But is it going to mean shit to you? No, apparently not. Yeah, that that's true, Shins. He was he was relieved when like by the end. So I'm probably I probably am wrong there. Like it, um, and probably the way you explained it, Tiffany, that when he was all squeaky and excited, he was really drunk then. So probably by the end of it, it kind of had kicked into the whoa, dodged the bullet there. Yeah, and he he knew he was being fucked with too. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He did. I don't I don't know how though because that acting was, it was impressive. I, I I kept I kept getting <laughs> fooled. I'm like, hang on, I know this is fake, but it's just so it is. Um. Yeah, you really felt like you were there witnessing this this dramatic escape from people chasing others and yep, dogs just trying to get on a people. plane. It's crazy. Very crazy. <laughs> and now we sit yep. oh, I love you Jamie oh, I yeah. can tell you I'm happy as hell that I didn't never stop you're happy that you never stopped loving her. <laughs> Thank okay. God. I don't know what that means. That's it. That's another one of these things. What exactly do you mean that you're happy you didn't stop? Like, 
Mm-hmm. Like you dodged a bullet, you might have by, I don't know. That's it's a another one of these things I don't fully understand. And then yeah. and then you think, why am I putting so much effort in to try and understand this? <laughs> I know the end result with us is going to be well worth it. I have to go work. Have a good night. I love you. Fuck off upstairs. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, and she just... The preceding announcement has been paid for by the... Lawn World Order. (laughs) That was... Wow. Excellent. Yeah, that was good. Well, we got to hear we got to hear Lorne in two different years. Mm-hmm. So very early on, when he said he wasn't going to do this again. Yeah, well, I still don't know what happened there. He was he was at, he was adamant. I believed him too. He he was. I did too. I did too. He was very convincing. And then all of a sudden, you know, fast forward to to twenty twenty one. And he's he's having a conversation with a fucking robot from the fucking internet, and it's caused him a world of hurt. <laughs> yeah. You know, it has. <laughs> God, I mean, that was painful. It was. Yep. That was really painful. I I loved it, of course, mm-hmm. because it just it emphasizes how ridiculous this person is. Mm-hmm. That he would sit there and have. First of all, it's not even a good conversation. He's not getting anything good out of this. No. Right off the right off the bat, he asks, "Will you be my Valentine?" And she's like, "No." Yep. <laughs> and then it just went downhill, and he sat there the entire time, waiting these huge pauses in order to to hear something horrible. That's right, <laughs> and I mean, I. I am still amazed at how upset he got over the Valentine's thing. Like, knowing what Lorne's that like, that, that caught me by surprise. Like, I mean, I know he wasn't going to be like, oh, okay, sweet, you know. But, like, he got so upset about it. It was it was incredible. <laughs> so, um... That's good. Yeah, so thank you very much, um, Hillborn, for sharing with us. That was a real treat. No, not, not, not boring at all. And I, I do agree. I like the way that you left in, like how long it took to talk so you could we could see you know how it's good not cutting yeah. it's good not cutting out those bits because you can see what this dickhead will put himself through <laughs> i know we're all sitting here like oh, okay <laughs> all right 15 seconds we have to sit here <laughs> and, and that's that's all da- you know that's the whole time for him um but no, it yeah was... it's the whole time every day you know whenever these these calls would happen He's having to sit there and just go through because so Jamie started in February Mm -hmm. of 2020. It must have been after Valentine's because she wasn't his Valentine last year No, (laughs) to make sure that, you know, Um, so it's been almost a year. Yep. So, So they've been together that long or together that long. Yeah. Fucking hell. That's so crazy. <laughs> I mean, COVID, COVID was such a gift. Right? It really was, yeah. Yep. Because we wouldn't have had this if COVID didn't happen. No. Nah. Thank you, COVID. And thank you, Lauren. Thanks, Lorne. COVID. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren, for being an idiot. <laughs> They're both the gift to keep on giving. Yes. Um, so, I reckon we might wrap it up there, yeah? Yeah. So um, yeah, well, that was unexpected. It was. There was a very nice surprise. Very nice. Yes. And so, like you know, re- remember, guys, have a bit of a think about how old do you think Ramona might be, and we will. Yeah, huge cliffhanger. Huge for next time. Huge cliffhanger. It's like um, yeah. It's like who shot Jr. This so. <laughs> hang, yeah, exactly. Hang in there. Um, exactly. Yeah, and so probably won't have a Tuesdays with Tiffany for a week or two because. I've got to go away on the the lull for a couple of weeks, but oh jeez. So sorry about that, but um, bummer. Why not? You know, why not start a series and immediately put it on hiatus? Eh? That's, that's... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> why not? Why not? <laughs> but thank you very much for you know for for doing this. This is heaps of fun. Mm-hmm. And thank you everyone in the chat for being your lovely selves. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. 
and staying all this time. It was a lot of fun. It really is. Yeah. So anything else from you before we go? No. No. Everyone can fuck off upstairs. Fuck off upstairs, okay? guys. Yeah. Delete your archives and fuck off upstairs. Hit it, CC.